Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us in our support session. My name is Somilan Dinge, and I am from the marketing team. Joining us today is Sarame Ramasodana, who is the head of School of Commerce. We have Mzwan Dile, who's a supervisor in the student recruitment services. And um, I'd like to welcome you both in our session and also everyone that has taken the time to join us in this chilly um, Saturday morning. I know Joburg is quite chilly. Cape Town, we're, we've got a bit of sun, but could be better. And um, yeah, so just a bit of housekeeping on my side. If you notice on the right hand side of your screen, we've got an interactive chat box. Please type in your good mornings, your hi, tell us where you're joining us from. We would love to hear from you. Uh, just to mention a few people that have taken the time to say good morning. Lerato, we see you. Good morning. Matela, good morning. Nomveli, so we see you. Good morning and thank you for joining us. And also, if you notice at the bottom of your screen, we are having a poll running. And one of the questions that we have is, would you like us to contact you regarding more info on our courses? This is whether you'd like to apply with us during this um, second semester intake, please let us know, vote yes, and we'll get your details so that um, one of our student advisors will get in touch with you uh, on Monday morning. We also have an ask a question box, which is also at the bottom of your screen. Uh, I see people have already populated some questions. So please type in your questions there and we will um, respond to them during our Q&A session. And yeah, please enjoy the time with us. Enjoy, um, ask any questions that you have and we will really love to interact with everyone this morning. So without taking more time, I'm going to hand, hand over to our head of school, Sarame, to speak to us about Mill Park, uh, School of Commerce specifically, and what the School of Commerce offers. Over to you, Sarame. Share my screen. Can you all see my screen, Somila? Somila? Yes, we can. Uh, yes, we can squeeze your screen. And you can sorry. hear me. Okay, yes, thank you so much. Thank you very clearly. Thank you so much. My pleasure to be here. Welcome, folks, to the info session in the School of Commerce. As Somila said, I'm Saram Ramasajana. I'm the head of school in the School of Commerce. And it is great pleasure to be here and being with you, ladies and gentlemen, this morning, on a Saturday morning, and it's cold, as Familia mentioned earlier on. So what I'm going to look into today's session is I'll do the welcoming and then give you a, a bit of overview of Mill Park as a whole, as a corporate entity, as well as our school, School of Commerce, where our qualifications are mainly based, and this is where the focus will be. We also have other schools that I will touch base on. And also mention the qualifications and also why do you think formal education is important in South Africa? Looking at the current events and things that are happening around the world, do you still believe that having a formal qualification will add value in your life? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. And I believe by joining this session this morning already, you've got an idea of why did you join to join us? Or why did you decide to join Mill Park? Thank you so much. And just to give you a bit history of Mill Park, Mill Park is part of Stadio. As you can see, Stadio Holdings is a company that is listed on the JSE. I'm sure you all know if we say a company is listed on the JSE, what do we mean? We mean they can trade shares, shares are public available to the public, you can buy shares. So it's, it is that holding company that is listed. So underneath Stadio, you'll see we've got several entities which are also standalone entities. We've got Mel Park, we also have Stadio, and then after. Stadio consists of previous companies such as SBS, Embry, Lysoft, and Prestige. All of those brands, they now call it Stadio, which is, which is different from Stadio Holdings, by the way. And now we have Mel Park on your left. This is where we are. 
Like I said, we are also independent from other, other corporate uh, entities within Stadio. And Mill Park as a whole, uh, the reason why I want to share this, uh, I just want to make sure that you understand when I say Mill Park as a whole, what do I mean? We've got several schools and all of these schools fall under Mill Park education. So if we have a query with your registration or you want to ask something relating to your studies, do not go to Stadio or any other entities because those entities are on their own, they are independent. So you need to get proper channels so that your query can be directed. I'm, ask, I'm telling you this because we have several students who actually query their, uh, their comments or they ask support or they ask qualifications via other entities. So please make sure that you use MailPack channels if you want to engage with us and we'll share those details towards the end. So this is just an overview of the structure of a uh, study. So looking at Mill Park on its own, this is where you are. We've got several schools. We've got the business school, uh, um, Mill Park Education School of Commerce. This is where we are. We've got School of Financial Planning and Insurance, Investment and Banking and College. So you'll see that college now forms part of School of Commerce, but we will talk about that once we get registered. We will also have a separate induction session where you, we, you get onboarded into Mill Park, then we'll explain that. So what, what are we trying to achieve, ladies and gentlemen? We are trying to provide Africans the opportunity to reimagine their future through flexible, accessible, supportive, and lifelong business education solutions. So what do we mean by flexibility? We mean you can choose the study mode, which is distance learning, or you can choose distance learning online, which is slightly different from distance learning. Uh, we are flexible. You can choose to join us at the beginning of semester one or in semester two, depending on your plans. You can even choose to join on the DLO, distance learning online, where you can either choose which cycle you want to join. So that's we want to make sure that we become accessible as well. Because if you are not flexible, you can't access or you can't be accessible as an institution to your stakeholders. We also want to give you support. Sorry, Sarami, we are not, the slides are not moving. So would you like me to share from my side? Yes, please. Oh, is it still, the, uh, okay. Yeah, please share from your side. I don't know why they are not moving. Sorry about that. I will just stop sharing yeah. now. Then Sumila can upload from her side. I was on the third slide, I think. Okay. You can just let me know if, if I'm at the right place. Mm. Maybe you should, sorry people, we had, I had load shedding earlier on. So things are a bit weird. Let's see. It's, it seems, yeah, now it's coming. You can. Uh, okay. Not sure yeah. the right thing. Yeah, put the one in the window. Um, um, it's not coming up on my side, Sarami. Can you try it on your side? Let me try if it will move. Uh, can you see my slide now, Samila? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Which slide are you seeing now? We are seeing introducing Mill Park Education Vision. That's the yes. slide you were this on. Is, this is the slide I was on. And if I click this, can you can you see the next slide now? If I click next. Uh, yeah, no, not like, yet. 
Yeah, okay. Let me just talk about this this one, the one that is currently here. So we yeah. I was just mentioning that we've got different schools, and you are in the school of commerce. This is where we are. And I was trying to explain, you know, the, the way we are flexible, we are accessible, and we support you guys throughout your journey in education. Mel Park was started in 1997, almost more than 20 years ago. We have different qualifications ranging from certificate to doctoral level. You can have PhD with us. And we also have a campus in observatory in Cape Town. Uh, that's where our head office is based. So uh, if, if I'm now going to the next slide, which talks about our values, I'm not sure if you can see that, Sumila, from your side. Nothing, nothing, nothing. yet. Uh, yeah, this, yes. then I'll just talk, but unfortunately you can't see, you can't see what I'm talking about because from on my side, it's on the next slide. So in terms of our values, guys, we have four pillars of strength. We call them pillars of strength because without values, without these values, we cannot succeed as Melpa. Our values are our guiding principles and we live by these values so that we can deliver the content, we can deliver the education, and we also support you guys in whatever capacity you want. We've got different stakeholders in, in the industry that we deal with. We've got you as students, we've got corporate clients. We also have other business partners that we work with. So for us to achieve that, we need to strive. The first value that we always live with is strive. So similar to your, to your circumstance, as a student, we empower you to strive, to, to make sure that you get your qualification. Have you ever seen that moment when you graduate and you say, I've made it? And when you look back and you look at the journey that you went through to achieve that, it is milestone. So we always empower our students to strive more and we challenge you to keep climbing the ladders throughout your qualification. The second one is care. We care about our students. We care about our colleagues. If we don't care, we can uh, reach our, our, our corporate objectives. Learn. Learning is a lifelong journey, ladies and gentlemen. You can never stop learning. And like I said earlier on, we, we are now having a doctorate degree that you can enroll on. Once you have finished your degree, you can do your master's. After your master's, you can do the PhD. That is learning. I shared this story with some, I think two weeks ago, where I said- I, Sorry, I sorry, sir, um, yes. Apologies, I'm just gonna share the slides for you. Um, Cause I, I, I okay, guess you have any, yeah, I'm going to share from my side so that okay, you- Yeah, thank you so much. Sorry about okay, that, guys. Uh, you see, if you don't see that, it's difficult to follow. What I'm saying. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see now. Yes, uh, make it on a presentation. I can see now. Okay. Okay. I think you were here, Sadame. Yes, but they, they appear so small on, on my left hand side. Is it possible to make it full? Or oh, maybe Somila? Yes, much better. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, go back. Yeah, this is where I was. Yeah, so I was sharing these four values that guide us, uh, and I mentioned the learning, and I was just about to share my story where I told you that uh, there there was an H one or eighty five year old lady who got her PhD, and it was a story that broke the internet last two weeks ago, and we were so passionate to to see that. People at his at her age can actually uh, learn. So, what prevents you from learning? So, that learning for us, ladies and gentlemen, is a very important value that we believe in. And you are here as well because you are also you want to learn. And Mel Park Education will be here to support you throughout. The last one is real. We want our student to be real. Real mean, means being authentic to yourself and also to us. If you are not happy with the surface or you are not happy about the content of the module, feel free to contact us. And because if you are not real about yourself, 
you, I mean, you won't achieve, or we, even ourselves, we won't achieve anything. And being real to you as well, from our side, that is also important that we are, we are real to each other. We, we have what you call in informal language, frank talk between the two of us. For me, that is very critical in any relationship that we will be having with you guys. So if you go to the next slide, Mzoa, uh, as I want to share with you the, the, the journey of our qualification so that we can see the articulation of where we are. I'll start with the NQF level five, which is higher certificate in management. That is a one year qualification. It is mainly designed to, to, to actually empower people who are working or you just finished your metric and you, you, know, you, you want to enroll for a higher certificate in management. You, maybe you don't qualify for, for a degree or a diploma. That is the, quali uh, the, uh, the qualification that you can enroll on. It is more about man management and accounting. The second one is advanced certificate in uh, advanced certificate in management. It is also one year. Once you once you are, you are done with that, you can now enroll into BCom or BBA, which is a three year degree. We've got different streams in general: HR, marketing, taxation, banking, investment compliance and risk credit and financial planning. <clears throat> this is both on the BCom, but on the BBA, we only have BBA general, BBA HR and BBA marketing. On the BCom, that's when we start with BCom tax, BCom banking, et cetera. So another person will ask, what is the difference between BBA and BCom? I think all of you might have that, that question. The difference is with what you want to achieve. If you are, you, are, you are more interested in commercial subject, you want to become a tech specialist or you want to become an, an accountant or a, a compliance officer or a credit analyst or you want to become a financial planner, then a BCom qualification will be more suitable for you. But if you are a person of HR, you, 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 are, more, you, you are more involved or you're actually interested in HR, uh, you are a marketing person, you can actually go for BBA. So this, it, it, it depends on you. I mean, when you enroll with us, you, you might need a counselor if you, are, if you are not sure of which journey are you taking. And I'm sure a, a lot of you are here or you might have, maybe you haven't made up your mind, but just look after your interest first. What is your objective? What do you want to achieve in your in your line, if you're in your life, uh, career-wise, at the end of the qualification, what do you want to be? If you can answer that question, then you can now come at our fact sheet and look at this qualification that we offer and then see which ones are you interested in. Once we have done that, you can now go to the postgraduate diploma, which is a one-year qualification. We also have postgraduate diploma in accounting, which is equivalent to CTA, if you want to become a chartered accountant. From there, you do your MBA and your DBA, which is two years respectively. So this is the journey that all of us, we can share, we can support you at Melpark and whatever, you, which journey you want to choose or which qualification you want to enroll for, make sure you contact us and then we'll take it through. So Muzwandila will go through the journey with you, how to contact us, registration processes, et cetera, et cetera. So feel free to ask, if you also have any other question with these qualifications, please leave your details on the chat or in the uh, ask a question box or, or uh, I think those two platforms then we'll be able to get back to you. Uh, the next slide, Mzo. Um, let's, I just want to go in detail with these two qualifications that I mentioned. The first one is higher certificate in management. This is for junior management roles. So it is mainly, mainly on vocational orientation where you, are, you might be working in corporate, but somehow you need a formal qualification. It, we do have clients or students who actually say, I mean, someone was saying to me, I've been working for my company for 10 years, but I can't get promotion because I don't have a formal qualification. So if you are in that situation. I think this qualification is would be best suited for you because it's a generic management level at a certificate level. So you only need your metric certificate, 
in order for you to get accepted here. If you don't have certificate, you can, there are other admission criteria that we can discuss, but heavy metric is the prerequisite. How, uh, like I said there, and then, or you, and then you, can, you must have English obvious at 40%. RPL is recognition of prior learning. If you don't have this certificate, we, it will be case by case where we assess your experience and your your other engagement with or your your other uh, ex skills that you might have acquired at your workplace that get get counted and then it becomes RPL and then you you get accepted. We we only have distance learning mode. Apologies, we don't have contact learning anymore. We only have distance learning. At the beginning of this year, we 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 are no longer offering contact learning. So all of our qualifications are offered via distance learning or distance learning online. Next slide, Mzor. Okay, once we, if you, once we have done your higher certificate, now you can go to advanced certificate. This is a, another higher qualification. So this is basically for skills that are necessary to function in a management role. So the first one was on a junior level. But this is now on a on a senior level, so it is also vocational orientated. It is more industry specific and it is industry based. We we majority of our students, our clients in this uh, on this qualification are mainly corporates, because corporates think that by having these skills, they are necessary to execute their daily responsibilities in their workplace once they have acquired the skills that we've offered in these qualifications. And the admission here, you must have your higher certificate, the one that I mentioned earlier on, which is NQF level five or equivalent qualification, which is relevant into this field. Accounting is very key here, it is a requirement. And similarly, we can also RPL your qualification, which means we can consider your experience, your skills, and any other factors that might have contributed to you to, to be fit to get admitted into the qualification that we call it recognition of prior learning. So it doesn't mean that if you don't have that higher certificate, it is the end of the world. We look at any other avenues that are there, as long as we can make sure that you've got experience and knowledge for you to, to tackle the, uh, the qualification, you will be admitted. Similarly, like I said, we only offer distance learning. We no longer offer uh, contact learning anymore. Next slide, Mzor. Okay, now, now we are going into the Bachelor of Commerce qualification or Bachelor of, Bachelor of, uh, Bachelor of Commerce, which is now our BCom or B and BBA. The first one is BBA, which is our bachelor degree. It is NQF level seven. Here, this, gen this qualification, like I mentioned earlier on, we've got three streams. We've got HR, we've got marketing, and we've got human resources. It basically empowers you to have integrated focus in general aspects that you, know, you, want, to add, you want to pursue your, your, your goals. For example, you need to have general management environment. Once you qualify this, quali once you graduate, you'll have that general management environment exposure where you can be a manager in an organization. We, we actually focus on conceptual and, and functional understanding of management issues. We assume that, you know, if once you, you get your degree, you are in a position where you can start your own business. We focus on entrepreneurial skills in the School of Commerce. And we always stress the importance of students being able to graduate and be able to run their own businesses. And you cannot run your own business if you don't have managerial skills, if you can't manage certain things. So that's generally what this is all about. Uh, for you to be admitted here, you must have higher certificate level five, or you should have your metric with 50% in four languages, sorry, four and NS uh, national subject counts, uh, modules that there are 20 credit modules, which are included in you will see if you look at your quality of on your fact sheet there are certain four modules which you should have and english should be uh, one of them 
You can also be RPL. We only offer distance learning and distance learning online. So we don't, we no longer have a uh, contact learning. We also have a Bachelor of Commerce. You've got all those streams that I mentioned earlier on. And this is on QFA level seven. And we focus on making sure that we become someone in finance, uh, in corporate world, in commerce, account finance and accounting. Also leadership is very key once you graduate as with a Bachelor of Commerce. Um, the next slide, so I'm just make, uh, uh, being aware of time. If you go to the next slide, <clears throat> we also have a bridging. Let's say you, you want to do BCom or BBA, but somehow you don't have mathematics. Remember in, on, in the BCom, for you to be admitted, you should have maths. You should, have, you should pass mathematics at grade 12. But if you don't have that, that is not the end of the world. We do have a bridging program. The bridging program actually empowers you or prepares you to enter into the BCom. So the modules that are offered on the bridging will be induction to business studies, which is NDBS, business numeracy, and business mathematics. Those three subjects are the core principles that guide the bridging. If you, if you can't make it, you can't get that degree or you can't actually uh, go to the higher level. So it is very important that you, you understand you have to pass those modules. And these modules are only offered on distance learning online, DLO. And then once you, you pass them, then you will be admitted into the BCom. Very important, this is only for BCom. If you're applying for a BBA, you can get admission even if you don't have mathematics because math is not a requirement on the BBA. This is only on the BCom. The next slide, Mzoa. Okay, briefly, I will just explain to you what is distance learning online. Okay, next slide. So this one basically says you start there. Are, okay, you start with the module overview. Uh, can you just so maybe just put all of them in one in one yeah in one slide so that we can they can see a bigger picture here. So distance learning has got weeks. Instead of studying in a semester, you study in weeks. Week one, week two, week three, week four, and up until week six. And week seven, it is exam preparation. And week eight, it is the exam. So in week one, you do topic one. So every week has got its own topic. So week one, you do topic one, topic two, topic three, etc. So in week one, the structure of assessment says you will do assignment in week one, another assignment in week three, and another assignment in week five. The reason why we structured this in such a way that it is, it is for you to be able to master the content in a piecemeal format. And people actually enjoy the way of the way of the of the of the design of the of the DLO. Why? Because you take things at a step. You study a topic, you get online tests in week two which focuses on topic one and part of topic two, then you know you're done. You go into week three, which is topic three, you do assignment, which covers topic one to three. And then in, top, in week four or topic four, you do online test, which covers topic three and four, which is week three and four, et cetera, et cetera. So by doing that, you actually have that piece or that program where you can actually plan your studies and say, for this particular week, I'm focusing on this. And if you do that, I can tell you, uh, the results speaks for themselves. Our pass rates are high in terms of the DLO because of engagement. We've got high success on, on this mode, mode of delivery because also of the engagement that you have with the lecturer. You, we've got facilitators that are available to answer your questions, a dedicated online lecturer who will assist your query in terms of your queries, if you send an email, let's say at 12 midnight, the following day when you click your laptop, you'll get an answer because we constantly uh, engage with our students. So that is the benefit of having DLO. And then in week six, week seven, sorry, that is where you do exam preparation. And in week eight, you write exam. And we call this a cycle. Once you are done with cycle one, you'll now go to cycle two. The same thing goes back and then then you do one module at a time. So you can, for example, you can have accounting and another module running, business management running in, 
in this. Otherwise, it will be too much work for you. So DLO is designed in such a way that you do one module at a time and it is split into these weeks or topics, which will give you enough time to actually prepare uh, the content of each topic. That is basically what is all about DLO, folks. Uh, I think that will be the end of my presentation, Mzoa. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any other questions, but if you think about digest what I just said, and then take time to type, or if you've got questions at the end, we'll have a Q&A session where we will take your, your questions. Um, thank you so much, and over to you, Mzoa, with the next presentation. Thank you so much, Siram. Thank you so much, Sirame. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for attending this wonderful presentation. Um, I hope uh, everybody could actually see my slide. So on my side, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to just start by um, acknowledging the fact that we, we do understand that you do experience certain challenges when you um, either starting from admission also with registration. So the reason for this exercise or the reason for this session is for us to share and make it easier for you when it comes to the journey of your of your entire registration and also ensuring that there aren't any challenges that you experience. Now, um, firstly on the slide, we, we firstly understand that you as a student, you find yourself with a lot of challenges. You want to study with no park education and you absolutely not sure as to how to proceed in doing that or maybe you are already a student with Mopark you just want to register for the upcoming semester so the first thing you do obviously is visiting our website which is www.mopark.ac.za or um, alternatively you could contact our student advisor now the contact number that we use is 086 triple nine, triple zero one. I must also acknowledge ladies and gents that within the past few weeks as an institution, we took a stance to say our lines are not going to be functional for that period. Uh, but we also realized there's a need that we also need to engage with you as students. So by all means, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to contact us, you're more than welcome to do so. Our lines are available from eight o'clock all the way to 4.30 every day, Monday to Friday. Okay, unless if you do have an appointment with the certain student advisor for them to contact you at a specific time, then by all means, they can stretch the hours and be able to assist you during that period. Also in the application process, ladies and gentlemen, we always inform our students to just follow these steps so that it makes it easier for them when it comes to the registration process. So firstly, you, as Sirame was indicating, you must understand um, the admission criteria for that specific program that you, you are now applying for if you are completely new with us. And uh, if you're already existing with us, then it's a matter of just proceeding with the registration. Now, secondly, you apply online, obviously following that platform, which is our website where you will be taken to several steps. And I will unpack those steps shortly. And then once you've done that, you obviously pay the admission fee, which is the application fee, depending on the qualification that you are now part of, it will, uh, the student advisor or the system will indicate to you what is the application fee. And then of course you get feedback in terms of your formal acceptance, and then you proceed further with your registration. So these are the five steps that we are um, understanding that you will go through from the application stage all the way to the registration stage. Now on our website, if you do go to our website, you'll realize that it's stipulated in the following uh, manner. So we have new students, we've got returning students, we also have continuing students. Now, new students are students that are applying for the first time with us in Mill Park. And then returning students are students that are obviously currently studying with us um, in, 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 into, for another different program. And then continuing students, current students continuing with our chosen program into that upcoming semester or a specific year. 
Now on the website, you, you will see on the drop down, you can nominate which student you are. If you do decide that you are a new student, it will then open a platform where you will provide us with your details and as well as the other type of students which are returning as well as continuing students. Now, just unpacking this a bit more, ladies and gents, um, before I even unpack the following, I want you to understand that we not only assisting students in South Africa, we have students across the entire um, um, other countries um, where we understand that they have things such as passports, which are not indicated in the, in the page that I am at, but by all means, you can understand that we do assist those students. They can freely contact us, they can email us so that we can proceed in assisting them. So the online admission process, um, as it is indicated here, part of the things that we will require from you to proceed, we will need you to indicate what type of course, um, as well as that actual course and also provide us your ID number. And then it will allow you to then move in into the admission process and then provide us all of those details that are required. And within those steps, ladies and gents, this is I'm going to just unpack certain things that we come across, um, which will slightly make it easier for you or make it make you understand what happens in the background when you submit those details to us, what exactly takes place for this to reach the ultimate goal, which is the registration. Now, the application process um, starts from capturing your details, which is application capture. This is where now we receive your information. And after we've received all of those details, as Sarama has indicated that there is a criteria that you need to meet, we then take your details for a review, which goes to a different department where now we're going to assess and verify the information provided, whether the verification of the authenticity of the documentation, all the way to ensuring that the documents are, are entirely filled correctly. So we also come across moments, ladies and gents, which I would like to share that when we engage with you as a student, please expect us to mostly email you because we understand that the type of students that we've got at Mopap, majority of the people are currently working during working hours. So it might be possible that we can contact you and you won't be available to pick up that phone. However, we, we will then try to ensure that we communicate with you via email, just to ensure that whenever you get a chance, you come back and you provide us those documentations. Possible documentations that we find difficulty with, I must inform you that it, it's, it's, it's general information. It's nothing hectic, but it's some of the things you find that maybe you sent us copies, but those copies are not clear enough. We cannot see exactly what are those details, especially if you are a new student. So it's quite, you are quite advisable to send us correct information and ensure that your documentations are in order. But I mean, if you are an existing student, it would be a case of just engaging with you, understanding what modules are you nominating for the upcoming semester and then proceeding further. So the verification stage, then coming back to the, uh, to the presentation, verification stage then indicates all of that information. Your student advisor will then be in contact with you and inform you what is going on. Once this stage has passed, it, it then goes to academic processing. So now this is where now the verification of the entire application takes place in terms of the actual modules nominated, whether you've met the criteria in terms of your actual application versus what your, um, your previous um, scores are in terms of your metric, if you are new and, and all of that. If it does happen that maybe, for instance, you don't meet the requirements, maybe you want to study with us, do a BCom, we will then advise you on the bridging process that needs to take place and then assist you further. And, but however, if you are just successfully allowed also, you will also be um, pushed to the finalized stage, which is now the registration process being finalized. And you will then get communication to indicate that this is now the final stage and we, we are now welcoming you to uh, Mopak Education. This would mean that you've obviously nominated those modules that you've got and you've also submitted those proof of payments for those modules that you've nominated. Okay, 
So details required for admission and registration. Ladies and gents, this is a good thing because um, if you are new with us at Mill Park, we will indicate to you that we do need a copy of your ID. We need a copy of your marriage certificate. This is the case for any of our students that have undergone changing of their surnames. Um, you will need to provide us the marriage certificate um, and, and also your metric and other applicable documentations or qualifications that you may have um, accomplished with other institutions, a signed admission and signed registration form. And this is quite crucial because we come across a lot of forms that are not completely filled. And it's quite crucial that you just double check all those forms. And the nicer part is that you do have a student advisor that could assist you with this process, making it easier, of course, and making it quite smoother for you. Passports for foreign nationals, as, as indicated, we do need copies of those if you are a foreign national um, student that is studying with us, as well as that proof of payment um, from the admission to the registration space. I also want to emphasize, ladies and gents, that for us to try and speed up the process, we highly, highly dependent on your responses because we do understand that there could be quite a lot of delays. Maybe your employer is the one who's going to be paying for you and you are currently waiting for that bursary to open. Or maybe you are funding yourself, you're quite waiting to raise those funds. So all of that feedback is entirely important for us to know where you are standing for us to be able to assist you as much as possible and understand that um, this is where you are currently standing and what is the anticipation point as far as you coming back to us and providing that information. Okay, so, so basically the process, we try and make sure that it is uh, as quick as possible. If you send us documentations today, by all means, we will try and ensure that that within at least 48 hours, your registration is finalized. This is only provided the fact that you've submitted all of your documentations and you've submitted your proof of payments as I do reflecting. So this means that the process is going to be much more quicker because there's nothing that is causing a slight delay. Ladies and gents, I also want to indicate that if you do want to be in contact with myself, you can email me at um, zwandile.masuku at milpark.ac.za. Um, I am the sales supervisor in the department. Um, and of course, if you'd like to engage with us telephonically, you may feel free to email us on 086-999-0001. And then of course, our email address for this department that we're in, which is Student Support Services. It is basically services at mopark.ac.za. And then of course, our website is indicated, which is mopark.ac.za. I also want to just uh, thank you for the time that you've given to us. I know that there could be a couple of questions that you might have during this session. If you don't get to ask all of those questions during the session, feel free to email me directly because basically what we strive to do at Mopac, because we do care for all of our students, we want to ensure that this journey that you are in with us is as smooth as possible. If you're encountering a point where you feel like nobody has responded to you in time, which can highly happen, ladies and gentlemen, I must acknowledge that point that you could experience a delay in, with one of our staff members that we've got, but please share this information with us so that we know exactly what's going on and we will do our ultimate best to try and make this smoother for you because you are very much important to us as an institution. Okay, I think from my side, I've covered everything that I needed to cover, ladies and gents. I'm just going to allow uh, Somila to move over to the questions and answers and uh, attend to any questions that you might possibly possibly have with us. I'm going to just stop sharing the screen so that we, we can move over to the questions um, that you might possibly have. Somila, over to you. Thank you very much, Nzwa. We do have a couple of questions. Um, and then I'm also going to call up Sarami to just come on screen and maybe we can tag the team on these, um, on these questions. So um, the first question is, would you please clarify more on payment options? Sorry. 
It says, can you please clarify more on payment options and how to obtain study material? Sarami, do you want to take this? Yeah, I think the payment options are is a main is the main uh, feature that that was introduced almost three three two years ago. So you you need to contact the accounts department and then they will make sure that you you agree in terms of your monthly installment and that will be loaded on the system and then you'll be able to register. I'm not sure if um, so you have their details then you can share them on the yeah website. so basically sirame when someone is doing a registration they will as student services we're going to provide that information to you um and 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 be able to share with you uh, the payment plan that that is indicated for you as a student so by all means student services can be able to assist you with this process you don't necessarily have to even be engaging with accounts, we'll, okay. we'll just make it easier because we have this information at our disposal currently. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, just contact Mzoa, uh, uh, the person who asked the question, then I think you will take it from there. Yeah. We also do have a partnership with uh, Capitech uh to assist you guys in your in your journey so but Mzoa's team will be able to guide you in all of that um there's a question from lerato who says is it possible to change from dlo to dl i didn't make an informed decision when applying for for admission yes lerato you can change from this learning online to distance learning but just make sure that you change before the start of the course or of the module otherwise it will cause issues because now you have done your assignment a now you have to cancel and they they will charge you in terms of admin and there's penalties so rather change before the start of that course if you are on DLO I assume it will be cycle four make sure you do it before the start of cycle four Thank you, Sirame. Uh, another question is, hi, I would like to know more about the study material. How do we obtain our study material? I think once you get registered, you, you, you'll get a registration confirmation. Within 10 working day, days, you should receive a study guide via post, the address that you've given us, and it will be delivered to you. At the same time, you once you have access to Moodle, to the course page, the material is available immediately if you are doing distance learning. So once you log in, you've got your login details, you can see the module, you can download, or you can view the study guide, the timetable, the study plan, and the assignment, everything is there. But the physical copies will be delivered to you within 10 days after the registration. Okay, thank you, Sarami. Another question is, hi, I started the process of enrollment in March. Sent all documents, transcripts, cannot get through emails, call the school or any emails from student advisor. Is there anybody else or, or where I can be assistant? Assistant. Yeah, I think I'll take this one, uh, Somila. Um, uh, I'm not sure who asked the question, but can I ask that you email me? I'll put my email address on the chat box there. Um, please email that to me directly. I really would like to assist you and, and just to see where was the block, what caused it to, to be delayed so much? Because if you've sent your, your, your documentations for that long and, and until now it hasn't been done, I, I just wanna see what exactly transpired and, and be able to resolve that for you as quick as possible. So please, share your uh, details with us if you can um, if you can share your student number that would be great or your email address so i can just be in contact with you okay thank you Mzua. 
There's another question from Mfundo Ntlovu. Mfundo is, us, is saying, I paid the admission fee for book, bookkeeping certificate. I haven't had a response regarding this. Please advise what can I do to get registered? I think you muted, Sirame. I don't know why did I did I was saying, let's get her details and we will forward it to the program manager on, on, on college. And then she will definitely revert back. We need those details. So Mfundo, please uh, pop in your email address on the chat box and then um, we'll convey it to the program manager in college and they'll be able to assist you. Hi, and then this is another question. It says, hi all, I have registered and made full payment of registration as well. I have made full payment of course for, the, for HCM. When do I get the study material and confirmation of modules for semester two? I have been dealing with Iran as student services as I need to know what's the next steps and I'm accepted and when will I start? Okay, I think I'll take this one. Um, so I, I also would like to just request you to share your details with us because I'm interested to see. Um, so basically the process shouldn't take too long. Once you've given us all of your details, it should be as quick as possible. It might be that maybe there was a slight delay um, in receiving all of the documents that we need, but I would like to engage with you so I can see exactly what documents we do have. If there's anything outstanding, I will gladly advise so we can try and, and, and clear that and get you to be registered with us as quick as possible. Yeah, so please share your details with me or with us, and then, or you can email me directly on the email address provided. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to assist. Awesome. And then uh, there's another question. Do I have to pay for registration amount same day? So, so um, I, I think based on the understanding of this question, you want to know if since now you've been given how much the qualification costs and must you pay it same day. So in order for us to process the registration, we do need the amount that is indicated um, on, on that um, quotation that you give it to say if it's this amount in order for the registration to be finalized, that's the amount that has to be paid. So if, for example, I've if you've nominated two modules to do the semester or three modules, this means that you'll be given a quotation, how much are those modules gonna cost you? And for you to be registered, we would need that proof of registration to be given to us. Yes, unless if you have a payment plan that you are under, then it would be indicated how much is required for you to pay as an amount from that payment plan. But all of that information would be shared with you at that space in time when you're doing your registration. But please share your information with me. Um, I'll be happy to assist you further on a one-on-one -on -one so I can see exactly what it is that you'd like to do with if it's a payment plan or, you, or you're paying the full amount from the beginning. Okay, I hope that answers the question. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Mzwa. Um, we've got a whole lot of questions this morning. Um, is it possible to study NQF level six and then enroll NQF level seven? Seven. Will you recognize the modules done on both QNF five and six, or will I have to start from scratch? So I think this is basically a, a question of of um recognizing the the modules that have they have done previously yes that is a very good question thank you so much once you have once you are done with your NQF level six or five there are modules that that are similar or that you will also do in on the bcom or bba 
And if you have passed those modules, you will get exemptions. So you will be exempted when you enroll for BCom and BBA. For example, I know that if you are on NQF level five, higher certificate in management, there's principles of accounting, ACCP. That module is also offered on the BCom and BBA. So once you are done on the NQF level five on the certificate, when you do your BCom, you'll be exempted. So you don't have to do that module again. So it's a it's an articulation. In, actually, in all our qualifications throughout, if there's a module that, that is appearing in, in different places, once you have done it in the other qualification, you get exempted in, if you enroll to the next one. So that the articulation makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I answered the question. I think you've answered it correctly, um, Sarame. Thank you for that. And then um, a last question from Setang. It says, I would like to know if it's better to come to your campus for registration. I need advice and some guidance on what courses to take. Um, sorry, I was muted. So uh, I'll take this one. Uh, you said it's Setang. Um, we basically would like to encourage you to just use the, the fact that we now have moved to um, the virtual space. So we can contact you telephonically and speak to you at, at a suitable time, Sitlang, so that it makes it easier for you to know exactly what qualification is suitable for you based on your needs and, and based on where you want to be career-wise and based on where you are maybe at the moment. And 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 that allows that moment to, to be possible for us. So right now it's best, I'm not sure which province you're in, but it's best to contact us or rather we, are, we contact you and speak to you telephonically and then be able to engage and advise you exactly which qualification could be suitable based on your needs. Um, so please share your information with me um, and I'll definitely ensure that someone contacts you and we get to engage with you in that space. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Mzwa. I think it would be safe for everyone uh, if you would like to be assisted in some way or if you have... Um, sent through your registration or admission and you need further help. So it would be best if you use Mzwa's uh, email address, send him those emails and he will connect you to the relevant people. So, um, oh yes, there's another question. It says, hi, I have, have, complete, have completed the bursary form and sent it to mobile park and have been of sick and ha sorry and have been accepted for higher certificate in management first semester when will i get study material and how and how also when is is the course starting i was assisted by feroza and Sibulele. i'll take that one i think i assume she's referring to second semester not first semester so if it's, that is the case uh, and uh, ideally, once you get registered, you, you should have access to the course pages if you are on distance learning. Uh, maybe it will, it, is, it will be uh, worthwhile if we can get her details and, and see which modules are those. And then I can check with academics and see that those modules uh, get populated if they are not. But the semester two modules should be available once you are registered unless your registration is not finalized. And if that's the case, uh, let us know what is it that, uh, uh, maybe give us your student number, then we can check the status, where is it? If it is finalized, you should get your study material within 14 days after the, the registration is finalized. And you should be able to access Moodle, our, our learning system management, so that you can start downloading documents. Um, but I need details to see how far is your application and which modules did you register for? Then we can now go and see uh, if those modules have been opened or not. Then we, uh, 
but now I, I can't I don't know I can't make a determination as to which ones are you referring to maybe uh, leave your details then we'll, uh, I'll take it up with the relevant people awesome thank you very much questions on our ask a question box and I'd like to thank you to say thank you to everyone who has indicated on that on our poll that they would like to be contacted I will extract the information and send through to student recruitment and they will be in touch with you either by email um, next week Monday so and as we promised, we said our session will be from 10 until 11 and we have kept our time. So I'd like to thank everyone who has taken the time to be with us this morning. Thank you to our head of school, Sarame, and thank you um, to our student supervisor, Mzwandile, for taking the time. We really, really appreciate it. And um, if you do have more questions or if you know anyone that would benefit from this session, you are welcome to populate and send them the, the link, the recording, sorry, the session has been recorded. So you can just access it by using the link that you used to, um, to register for the session. So um, I see Raymond is popping his details and stuff. So thank you, thank you everyone for that. Um, and in our true Mill Park language, and we always say that we are looking forward to partnering with you on your learning journey. Hoping to see you soon on our S2. And um, we hope that you, you will um, get to experience our values of care, of, of of striving of learning together we're looking forward to being with you guys thank you and have a lovely saturday keep warm goodbye thank you bye bye thank you sorry sirami you were saying no i was saying bye bye Ha, ha, ha.